Okay, dokie, okay. part two of the two-part series on forming a positive relationship with food and eating in moderation to achieve body fat loss. In today's video, we're going to talk a little bit about eating in moderation and understanding the foods that are good for your body and that work well for you to help you achieve that body fat loss, but still allowing you space to have that chocolate bar, that snack, that piece of deliciousness that you need to have in your life that you crave whether it be on a week-to-week -week basis a monthly basis a celebration basis um or just in a general time frame that sometimes you get random cravings all right so how is it possible to eat pizza once a week and still achieve fat loss the answer think about the pizza you're eating for a start if you are eating a Domino's because it's so delicious and you want to lose body fat, I'm going to suggest that you don't eat the full pizza. Select a slice or two slices and factor that in to the amount of food that you're going to allow yourself on a Saturday. But then put some rules and restrictions around that as well. Make sure that in the morning you get up first thing and have an egg white omelette with lots of greens. Maybe you have a bagel thin with some chicken heck sausages. Maybe you just want a protein shake. That's cool. Then lunchtime comes around. You're already thinking that you're going to be having that Domino's tonight. So what you're going to do for lunch is have a massive salad or a massive bowl of veg with maybe some chicken or some tuna or some salmon or a lean meat of some sort that's going to help fill you up, give you a good high protein content, also lots of greens and lots of veggies to help keep you fuller for longer and hit your micronutrient values for the day. Then dinner time comes around. You're about to go into Domino's and order that large Domino's pizza that you've been craving. Here's an idea. Get a friend to come with you. Order a smaller pizza. It depends on you and your self-control how you split that pizza and it depends on you and your end goals and how much you want to achieve your end goals, how much discipline you can offer in this situation. Yes, you can still have the dominoes and still end up with that good old term calorie deficit by the end of the week. And as long as you still achieve that calorie deficit by the end of the week, you are still going to lose body fat. But you might find that the next day if you step on the scales, you're going to be a little bit heavier. That's due to water retention, excess salt in the body, lots of different factors that can happen when you've just put a pizza in your mouth and you've maybe not had enough hydration or fluids alongside it, or maybe you've had some alcohol alongside it. These things are going to make the scales rise the next day because there's more weight in your body. But... If you wait, as long as you've stayed within that calorie deficit limit, you've enjoyed the food, you've not felt guilty about it and you've not spiralled out of control, get back on the eating plan that you're following and you will continue to see the fat loss drop for the rest of the week. This can be a really tough thing to do, um, particularly if you do struggle with self-control and self-discipline when it comes to food and you know you're one of those people that once you eat one thing, you're just on a downward spiral and you're just going to keep eating until you start to feel full or sick. Generally, in that situation, that happens because you've got that negative relationship with food. You've told yourself a food is bad and you're not enjoying the food at the time you're eating it and you're not forming those positive relationships and positive connections with the food that bring you joy. If that's where you're struggling, go back and check out the first video on positive and negative relationships around food and how all foods need to be looked at on a level playing field. But yes, you can, in fact, eat the foods you want on a weekly basis, on a monthly basis and still achieve fat loss. It just may take a little bit longer. It just may mean that you step on the scales and you're a little bit heavier for a day or two. It's about your goals, where you want to end up and where you see yourself in four weeks, eight weeks, 12 weeks, 16 weeks time. Please enjoy food. Don't restrict yourself too much 
and learn how to balance your diet and eat things in moderation so that you're not overeating, you're not overindulging and you're a little bit more self-aware of what that food is doing for your body, the calories within that food and how much food you should be eating to achieve your goals. As always, if you need any help, any questions, or there's something in this video you're unsure on, please pop me a message on Instagram or come check out the Facebook page or even stick a comment down below. I'm always happy to help. I'm always happy to give you as much of support as you need to get you to where you want to be. But I can't help you if I don't know how to help you. So reach out, get in touch, and I'll hopefully catch up with you soon.